the beginning of the 19th century, Europe was set alight by a shocking new dance craze. A dance craze that was to last for more than a hundred years. It was accompanied by music so popular that it was played, whistled and hummed all around the globe. It was called the Waltz and its story is inseparable from the story of one family, a family named Strauss. The waltz story is set in Vienna, the 19th century music capital of the world. This is a city where you can hardly turn the corner without bumping into a memorial for some great composer or other. These are the streets where Mozart, Beethoven, Haydn, Schubert and many more lived and the musical heritage they left behind still draws millions of visitors to the city every year. But of all the star composers that lived in Vienna at that time, it's fair to say that for sheer popularity, two of them far outshone the others. This man, Johann Strauss and his son. Johann Strauss I and Josef Lahner were the superstars of their era. Not only were they idolized by the public, and particularly women, but great composers also had huge respect for them. In the 19th century, the great composers of concert music loved to come hear the pop stars of the day, Johann Strauss I and Josef Lahner, play. Wagner said that the waltz was more intoxicating than alcohol. You're now into the largest one of all. Oh, and, that just and again, how does that feel? Light as a feather. That's right. You've got rid of all those heavy underskirts. Yes. And you've got a little piece of engineering underneath. That's so right, underwear by Isambard Kingdom Brunel. Clearly. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Give it a twirl. Oh, this just moves so beautifully. So it's a completely different feeling, isn't completely it? Completely different. But I think it's a bit deceptive because it, it feels as if the man will be held away by this, but... No, the cage collapses. So in fact, he's as close as you were almost in the Empire dress. So out of the three dresses, which is best for dancing the waltz. Oh, without doubt, this one. This so that's just it. Heavenly. So that's the point at which the dance and the dress come together yes. in perfection. Mid 19th century. Leaving me talking all this time. Let's get back to work. On the waltz? Yes, on the waltz. Play some for me. I'll play if you'll dance. Why don't we both dance? I don't know how to dance. Everyone can dance. Everyone, it seems, except me. Are you telling me that the son of the great Waltz King can't even manage one little dance? <laughs> yeah, no, no, honestly, no, I'd much rather we didn't. I'm sorry, but I won't take no for an answer. <laughs> I, I, I feel ridiculous. One, two, three, one, two, three. It was thanks to both Johann Strausses that Vienna and the rest of the world waltzed for a hundred years and more. The waltz craze began at the end of a terrible European war, a time when people desperately wanted to forget, even if it was only for one night. And whatever else you can say about this dance, the waltz is still a wonderful escape.